Well, good morning, guys. No spring is complete without a visit to see our friends at Wild Hagen's <laughs> in Carlisle. <laughs> to bring some much needed color into our lives and also to see our friend Vera! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> you okay with it? Let's go back a little bit. So we had this elaborate idea to come up and get a different view. <laughs> And rehearsal went well. Terrible <laughs> rehearsal's good. I decided to take these guys up on our monorail is yeah. where we water our plants up here. So I thought it'd be really cool to do something different. Since Tim, one of his like favorite experiences at Wild Higgins was yeah. our like sweat room. So I had to try and top it and I'm thinking it might be <laughs> I, happening. I don't right know, now. I think you did. Okay, so <laughs> it looks so great in here. Thank um, you. You guys aren't open yet to the public. No. But you guys have been working hard. We've been working so hard. We have a lot of orders for the wholesale side. So we're going to be opening our garden center up May 1st. May 1st. Okay. So that's yes. a, week, a week Saturday when yep. you guys are opening up. Yep. It's already um, coming up. What happens up here? What are you guys doing up here on the monorail? Okay. So up here, basically what we do is we take these hanging baskets and this is how they get watered on a drip line. But what we need to do on this monorail is when shipping comes, we need to collect the plants, but we also need to make sure that these plants are getting watered every day. So we're always coming up here, double checking on all the flowers, making sure everything's good. Um, are you suckering these guys? Do you, have to, do you have to sucker these guys? So we cut them. You we just, cut them. we do cuttings, like what we do, like we top them basically, so that we trim them, so that, see how like kind of perfect they all are? Yeah. So we actually do it with an X-Acto knife, every single one. Like how often are you doing that? So we've done it probably twice to make them perfect. It's a lot of labor involved in our plants. Right. But we, um, we're Dutch, so we like everything very perfect. <laughs> what's, uh, what's this piping? Like, what's, what's this piping I'm hanging on to? Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually. This is our heating. So this is the hot water inside here. It's not, it's not hot, though, right now. So Will because because right now the boiler is not on. Okay. So we have a new biomass boiler, which is basically like a huge fireplace. And the wood chips come in off a tractor trailer. The floor moves, and it moves all the wood chips into the boiler. The boiler goes and pulls it up into the fireplace and it heats up all 50 greenhouses. It also heats up our workers' house, our barns, everything. Really? Okay. So if, yeah. when it's on though, I can't be touching it. It would be... No, you'd be okay. Yeah. I mean, not for a super long time, <laughs> but... <laughs> what we're, trying, we're really just trying to knock loose yeah, off here. Exactly. I see that. <laughs> My goodness. Good, good work, buddy. Uh, okay. Well, let's take a break. Uh, because as always, anytime we visit, Vera has the best ideas and Aww. we're talking succulents, we're talking exotic plants, we're talking veggies because I know we're still a bit away from cutting things in the ground outside, but yes. we can do plenty of prep and that's what they're doing here at Wild Eggins. Opening next Saturday. I'm on lap. What's great about Wild Eggins is things never suck. <laughs> we always want to show off the wonderful succulents you have. Like, look at, they look like dolphins. Yes, that's is, the dolphin. Is that what it's called? It's called String of Dolphin. It's so cool, eh? And it mm. actually blooms, which I didn't, I didn't really know, because really... I'm still learning about succulents, yeah. although I've been obsessed for years. I'm really starting to like put them in different areas of the house. Sometimes if your succulent's not doing well and you find it stretching or- That would be me. Okay, like... it's not necessarily you. It could be the location of the house, like where the location so of the windows plant. windows for succulents? So the Echeveria, this style, doesn't like right to here? be right in a window. That style likes to be about five feet away from a window. So if you, I know this is a lot of work possibly, but it could be fun. You could just move your succulents around. We oh, take ours and we have them on the little bookshelf and then we move them to the bathroom and then we'll move them to another section of the house. Cause some, things, some plants like to stay in one spot. You know what I mean? Some cause they get used do. to, cause they get used to that spot yes, and that's used true. to the light. They're the home bodies. <laughs> right? But succulents like yes. to move around a little bit. Yes. Let's re-up here. If you don't know, this is Vera, everybody. Vera Wildhagen, Hi. who uh, runs the show here. Um, <laughs> you, where can you find some of these succulents? Okay, so we're very um, excited. We just launched this line at Fortino's. So you can get them at the, for, the Fortino's flower shops all over. This is our new matte black collection, which cool. we're really into because now people have like a lot of the black hardware on their houses and stuff. These ones are, these are beans. These yes, are, that's a happy bean. A happy and that's bean. our beachside collection. And that, um, that's a great um, little plant. See, it's starting to bloom. Yeah. It's very right. exciting. I didn't really know succulents bloomed. Can you believe that? Right. So what the coolest thing ever is, we had a whole bunch of those blooms, so we cut them and we put them in a vase and they lasted for probably a month, those blooms. 
these guys right here? Those ones. Th this is uh, orange loom. Is this Echoveria? Yes, so Echoveria. 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 <laughs> See? Your daughter is Echo yeah, and you're Vera. Echo I know. Vera. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Um, what do you got here? Okay, so these are pretty cool. These are um, succulents that we actually did ourselves. So you basically wiggle off a leaf from your succulent. This is the leaf and you let it sit for at least like three, maybe four weeks, and you're gonna start seeing roots. Then it turns into this. So once, once you start seeing the roots, then you're putting it in then the pot? Then you put it in the pot and that's that one there is three months old. No way. Okay. So it takes a long time to grow. I quickly want to get to what do you got back here? Okay. This is really neat too. So these, I just want to let people know that this is magnolia. And what you can do is you can go out to your gardens. Um, you can either take from a tree or a shrub. You can grab a vase of water. And what you do is you take the stems, you mash up the stems a little bit so the water can really um, go up the stem and you can actually have them blooming in your house. Last week, Full magnolias really? on here. Like you just sip those and just put them in water. Just water? Anything just else in water. there? Just water. No, I just put them in water, but I clean the water every like four days because it can yeah. get a little mucky. But you can do it with forsythia or any shrubs. Always learning stuff here with the beer and the gang at Wild Hagen's. Uh, we'll take a break. You guys aren't open to the public yet, but next Saturday you're going to be open out at the road. Yes, okay. May 1st. We're excited. That's very exciting. Um, so are some of the exotic plants that they have here. We'll get into those and some veggies too as we're having fun at Wild Hagen's on Morning Live. I know we're only getting to the end of April, so we're still probably a month away from actually putting things into the ground, but yeah. I don't know, I just get so excited, and we needed I some color, yeah. and I need to see Vera, so we were back here at Wild <laughs> Hagen's, and look at the display that she kind of set up for us, um, because I just see all of this in a you know, backyard pool with some of yes. these tropical plants, yes, and definitely. some of the planters that we're gonna be putting together. Yeah. Quickly, Vera, the, the two front ones are what? Those are um, red and set of bananas, so basically they're fruitless trees, but, in one season, they can grow up to 14 feet. And they're spectacular. Like if you want to show, because everyone's going to be home this summer, they're such a great plant to buy because they're just going to be massive. Do you buy them like that big? Or so we have smaller? ones that are that big and we have ones that are smaller. So, I mean, most of the time I tell people just to buy smaller, right. meaning like three feet already, three to four feet. I tell them to buy those and then they can watch them grow. Are they sunshade? They can pretty much do anything. Right. Just think of it like a tropical rainforest. What about my elephant ears? I got a, I I a set of these. I love my elephant ears. Are these spectacular? So, these guys are a little bit older though, right? These are two years old okay. and I love them, like obsessed. You have one that's a little bit younger? How old is this Yeah, guy so here? those ones there are a year old and those okay. are the ones that we'll be selling in the garden center as well as the big ones too. But right. those ones are great. You can even overwinter them. I have a friend that overwintered his and it, you should see it, it, it did fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, like mine are mine aren't doing this well, but we're trying You're to find busy. the perfect the perfect spot for it. I right? think that's what it is. It's yeah. like the perfect spot. The heat in the house yeah, because it's super hot. Okay. So this uh, is aloe vera. This? Okay. This is basically a house plant that you can bring up for the summer. So I was going to get you to make a planter with that. Sure. And then um, when the fall comes and the planter is kind of done, you compost the rest. Keep this in your house, and you can take this. I was going to show you. Um, all you do is you cut this. Can you just show that to Luke so we can see it there? Yeah. yeah. So you just cut this and look at all the good stuff inside. So um, you can use this on your skin. So you can put it on your skin. If anybody has a burn or anything, it honestly is amazing. Really? Some I people don't... even so uh, if drink you, it, right? You, they make if, drinks out of it. If you cut that, how long would that last? Like you kind of need to use that pretty much immediately. Well, I do. Like you can always put it in the fridge if you wanted to, right? right. Like it'll last forever, but okay. yeah, so put it a little bit towards the back, maybe. Put towards the back, not right in the middle. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the same. Usually piece. we do the middle though. See, you were used to yeah, that. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I was doing these kind of Mother's Day colors. So if you feel like these ones. Right. This is a really cool plant. It's um, part of the succulent family. So you're putting succulents in these hangers, right? Yeah, that's sedum. That's trailing which, sedum. Which that one? This one yes. right there? We're starting to put that in our annual plant just, just for something different, especially for real gardeners that need something new to look at. And uh, they're spectacular. And then you could, could you bring them inside at the end of the season? Yes, you can. You can definitely bring them inside at the end of the season and then you'll have your own stuff. Remember we just had the dolphin? These yeah, are the dolphins. The succulents. So we've actually got lots of dolphins in our baskets and planters this year as well. You're going in here too. Okay, yes. we'll take another break. I'll keep working on this. Uh, veggies. So there was a big shortage of many veggies last year because so yeah. many people were into gardening. And it's going to be like that this year. People are already starting doing it with lettuce and certain things oh, like that. Oh, yes. We'll uh, give you a preview of that with Vera, the whole gang here at Wild Higgins. If I can open this. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm really live. You got it. Right. You've been working out, haven't you? Yeah, man. Love doing this. So we are transporting ourselves to like August this morning 
here at Wild Higgins because they already have tomatoes that are ready to go back here with Vera. What are these tomatoes? Okay, those are our yellow um, cherry tomatoes. They're my favorite tomato. And I planted that one in about February. So after we seed them, they go into little plugs. So they sort of look like this. After we seed them, they're like little, little tomato plants. Little guys like that, okay. Yeah. So they go um, like this. Then we plant two to three plants in here. Got my little tag, I see. Right. Um, and then, so now they're starting. So what is that? Two months later, yeah. we've got Would you take tomatoes. this and put this in the ground outside or just keep hanging them? I actually... Because well, you have a greenhouse to hang them no, into, right? No, but when I have it on my patio, I actually put mine outside. They love the fresh air. And if and you put I it in the plant, them... do they grow down? Like, so do they this one here is a grape tomato. Right. And you can kind of see them hanging, see them hanging. Yeah. So this, they're more different varieties. Uh, lettuce, lots of good lettuce to get yes. started now because I know we're eager, we're itchy, we're home, oh we wanna be gosh. doing stuff. Right? So you know what I did? I took these lettuces and I ended up putting them in a planter. So my planter is here. You can see it's been um, picked Somebody, from. Somebody's been this dipping is in there. Personal, what, what are you like, making a little Caesar salad there, Vera? Oh my gosh, we did Greek salad. What? It was so good. Romaine lettuce over there and kale oh, in the middle. This is the Caesar, yeah. Yes. And then kale in the middle. And both are very hardy as far as surviving. and They're and make... very cold hardy. In a couple weeks, um, you can actually put these outside. Longos is going to be doing a DIY in their magazine. So check out their magazine on veggies. So they're going to have lots of great ideas and stuff coming up, I believe, this month. So check that out. And then what we can do here today is yeah. hot peppers, I was oh, thinking. Oh, goodness. This takes me back to yesterday when we were eating hot peppers. And... <laughs> <laughs> things didn't go things didn't go all that well where are we at when it comes to our gardens because last year everything went and everything sold out specifically yes. certain things like what so veggies were very popular herbs oh my gosh impatience there was a lot um there was a lot of craziness last year in the gardening world right. and um it all seemed to work out so now we are full like we have 50 greenhouses full plus we put two new ones up we are ready to go for our customers. So there might not be as much shortage as, you, as we saw last year. I don't think last so, year was, no. Last year was just kind of really, I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, so okay. this is, um, the idea behind this is if you don't have a lot of space in your backyard, yeah. a lot of people have condos or they just don't have a lot of space. They have a lot of pets roaming around. You can plant um, tomatoes, lettuce, spinach, any kind of vegetable pretty much in a pot and it will be successful. Close to a window? Like best spot to put it in the house? This is not going in the house. This one's going outside. This is going in. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, this, okay. this one has to go outside. Um, we would put it kind of on a patio, even up on a stone or something. Okay. And um, it will produce lots of hot peppers for you for all those barbecues. Yeah, baby. Because a lot um, of people will be enjoying their own backyards this year, right? You're the best. That uh, looks so good. I just love coming here. It just puts you in a good mood. Just Aww. all the brilliant colors and now that it's really popping. And uh, I love that you wore the shirt. Yeah, right? I had to, I had to work I that in too. I love that. Um, great seeing you. So May the 1st, you guys are going to be open for curbside out front, right? Yes. That and setup is we're, there. The, we're open. We have an open air garden center so people can come in and shop right. personally. It's really big. And you can find a lot of this stuff at Longo's and some of the succulents and Fertinos. You're all over the place. We're here. trying. Great to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much.